Hi guys, here I am with Luke Shanks. Uh, Luke is from uh, Shoe Down Gym in Northampton, and Luke is on fight number three tonight in the flyweight division. Uh, Luke, how are you feeling today, mate? Yeah, I'm feeling good. I made weight easy anyway. Down Excellent. On yeah, good skills. Good. Well, obviously, you're from a great gym there, Shoe Down. We've got a few of your guys on tonight. Yeah, yeah, uh, so they yeah. always come to fight really hard. Uh, they always put a good performance on. Yeah, so, um, yeah. have uh, you had any special preparation for tonight, or are you just going to take yeah, it as yeah. it comes? Well, my last one, I was all stand up, no defense at all. No. I'm just, I've kind of swapped over on doing jiu-jitsu, wrestling, and uh, I feel good all round, really. Excellent, excellent. Well, like I say, you're from a strong team. You've got a few of your guys on tonight. Yeah, I know definitely. some of the guys that back you up there, like some Martin Sheridan, people like that. Yeah, yeah, You've got exactly. a very, very strong call down there, so I would assume they've been putting you through your paces. So, yeah, um, yeah like I say, mate, you guys always come to fight, so I'm definitely looking forward yeah. to seeing you showcase your skills tonight. Yeah, thank you. Is there uh, anybody you want to say thanks to? Uh, thanks to Naz, BJJ, and then Shooter. Everyone at Shooter. Excellent. Yep. Best of luck for tonight, mate, and we'll look forward to seeing you Cheers. in the cage. Hi guys, here I am with Chair Salim. Chair is from Birmingham and fights out of Fearless MMA and is on our third fight tonight. Uh, how you doing there, Chair? You all right? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. Excellent. You've got a very confident look about you and I like that. Um, you uh, obviously Fearless MMA, we've had a few of your guys on the show before. They always come to throw down. Um, eight, number one, do you know anything about your opponent? And number two, um, how have you prepared for that? I've seen one of his fights. He looks like a brother and just prepared as normal and see how it goes. Excellent. Well, look, like you say, you've got that, you've got that glint in your eye, you've got that smile on your face. Um, obviously, what that shows me is that you know you're determined to get in there. You're looking forward to getting in and enjoying yourself in the cage, and obviously putting on a good performance for the audience. Have you got many people coming to see you? A couple of friends. Excellent. So you can have a bit of support in the crowd. Yeah, good. Brilliant. Well, listen. What I'll say to you is, there, chair. I wish you the best of luck for tonight, and I'm looking forward to seeing you showcasing your skills later on. Thanks. Okay, so we're in with the flyweights, Luke Shanks, Chaya Salim. Shanks in the slightly shorter black shorts, Salim in the white shorts. Yeah, and Shanks wasted no time coming in with a huge overhand right there, straight off, straight from the bell, sorry. And uh, what we expect from the flyweights is a fast pace, and these guys are not disappointed in the first 15, 20 seconds of this fight. No, boom, and we're on the ground, exactly where you want it to be. You've only got three-minute rounds, not the five-minute rounds the pros have that these guys will be fighting later in their career. So they've got to do what they've got to do quickly. They've got to score points for the takedown. They want to work their submission, and they want to work dominance very quickly. Now, nice roll out there from Salim. Back up, secures the underhooks and drives against the cage wall. So we're seeing some very smart wrestling here from Salim, using his head to control Shanks. Yep, and Shanks is uh, doing exactly what he needs to do by controlling uh, Salim's head in return to try and peel his head off his body. But good control there from Salim. I mean, in his corner, you've got the likes of uh, Tom Breeze over there from Fearless MMA. Obviously, a very good wrestler and pro MMA fighter himself. You know, drilling day in, day out with uh, the top guys down there. I'm, I'm sure he's going to be very well versed. I was going to say that Shanks was throwing some devastating knees, but look at the two knees from hell that just came from Salim there. Yeah, and he switches down, he's got the hips, and he's going to pull it in and hit that takedown. Nice work from Salim, and he's got his pass straight away. That was a beautiful single leg takedown, utilising his head to uh, take Shanks down. So what Shanks going to do from guard? He's got an open guard, is it half guard or full? I can't quite see, I think it is a, a half guard. He's looking to strike and kick away yeah look for that triangle and uh, as you see all too often he give his uh, opponent a chance to work that pass i mean shanks has done a good job of getting his guard back again but um he just gave up that pass a little bit too easily to salim looking for a triangle that wasn't really there no that's right we could see salim thinking about trying to isolate the armor shanks look at that sneaky little what's it just goes to posture up no i'm not going to go and do anything and then straight back in with a massive straight right and he's working to the mount position, but good work from Shanks to push his man off. And the exchange of pair of hooks. That was a devastating little short right hook there from Shanks. Just jumped up, boom, right in the chops. Yeah, and in MMA, you know, in these kind of tr uh, transitions and scrambles, if you can hit shots like that, you know, these guys aren't just fighting in one range and the next range. You know, you've got to work all the time, and that's exactly what he needs to do. Find the shots in the transitions and in the scrambles. Absolutely. Now, here we're seeing Shanks' uh, wrestling skills there as he drops down low for an ankle pick. That's nice. not worked. Yeah, cross face there from Salim, just stopping him, putting all his weight in, and a, and a big knee to the body. 
And we see a little technique there from Shanks that I quite like myself there, kneeing the leg. Slows your opponent down later in the fight. And again, look, we can see Shanks coming in, kneeing that right leg of Salim. Fast pace right. first round there, Lloyd. That's it. But as you say, that's what we expect from the flyweights. Let's see what they got for round two. Okay, so we're ready for round two. I've got to say, Salim looks a little bit more fresh than Shanks. And that big right hand out of the blocks from Shanks again. But he used it rightly so to hit, try and hit that single leg. But good balance from Salim. Excellent. We can see him trying to utilise utilize the wizard, throwing his leg in there. Doing all the right things to defend that takedown, it has to be said. That's nice wrestling from Salim, nice defensive wrestling. Exchanging some knees and some left hooks coming in there from Salim as well. Nice little hip throw there. Bit more of a hip pull down than a hip throw, but hey, it still worked. And uh, some elevation using the butterfly uh, hooks there from Shanks. Can't quite get that sweet that he was after. Settles for the close guard. Is it sad that I got all excited and I thought we might have just seen a helicopter armbar, but no, no, unfortunately not. This time yet. And uh, Salim working patiently for that pass, gets up to his feet and then uh, opts to sit back into the guard. Obviously didn't think the pass was there just then. Good work again, it, you know, we said it in the last fight, but we've got some more talented amateurs, you know, well-rounded guys who've shown skills on the feet, in the wrestling game and on the ground. I'm uh, impressed with the standards so far. Absolutely, I fully agree with you there, Jay. I mean, it's something that we're seeing throughout the country as a whole, but Fight UK specifically, I mean, we really have got the cream of the crop and the amateurs here, and they are performing and, and like professionals, which is it's fantastic to see. And it's, you know, it's worth pointing out. I mean, Shanks, Luke Shanks, he's only 18 years old. He's barely out of the junior ranks. As we go, Salim standing, passes the leg straight in, big left shot and another big left shot. Yeah, that was something we saw him utilize in the first round as well. Um, as he's going for the pass, hitting that big left hand. And he, you know, it's a technique he likes because he's used it again. And as he had Shanks thinking about the punch more so than uh, protecting the pass, he's let him get past his legs, so double whammy. That's it, it, it has worked. He's, as I say that, Shanks trying to shrimp back in, giving his back up now. Is Salim going to be able to get his head through? No, Shanks is dominating with head control. Salim's head pops out. Are we going to see side control? No, he's going to go full mount and Shanks gets those butterflies in. And they're gone. They're gone. They're not there. Yeah, nice guard retention from Shanks. Every time uh, Salim's going to get the pass, he's not letting Salim rest on top, and he's always trying to work his legs in. You know, it, good work from the bottom. He, he's not taking much damage, but you know we need to start seeing more attacks from Salim if he's uh, from Shanks. Sorry, if he's not going to let this round slip through his fingers. Yeah, you're right. He's he's definitely working on the defence now. I mean, you know. Here he needs to get up and try and do something to persuade the judges that he's still in the game at this point. As Salim comes in, head control, couple of knees. We're going to go round three. Into our third and final. Big shots, good head movement off the cage wall there. As Salim drives in, works his man in for a wrestling takedown. Yeah, Shanks has got that underhook, but not enough control with it. And that's why we saw Salim hit that takedown there. Shanks right in his own corner. You can see he's one of his coaches there. Uh, Martin Sheridan, pro MMA fighter. We've seen him at Fight UK as well. Both guys have experienced corners. And uh, you can tell they're working from good teams. They're coming to this third round. Both guys have done some great work so far. All to play for. On that note of cornering, Jay, if you were Shanks' corner, what would you have said to him in between that little last round? I guess just a little bit more urgency. You know, he's been stuck on his back for some prolonged periods, and apart from really attacking for one butterfly sweep, which he, he didn't quite get, he was a little bit static on his back. He, he did well to retain his guard, but not enough action to try and scramble back up to his feet or look for the, uh, look for the submission for me. And again, you know, the, the time's ticking away. As you noticed before, these are only three-minute rounds, and you have to work fast if you want to work, make an impression with the judges. 
every second Salim spends on top, he's winning in the eyes of the judges. Absolutely, you're completely right there. And again, we can see that Salim's calm, controlled, he's happy to be on top. anything from Salim so uh, it looks for a reverse triangle as I say that but Salim's going to pop his head out and get that pass again nice tight side control yeah it's just control 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 from Salim there and we can see every I mean these guys are only flyweights but every single pound is going straight through chest to chest Salim hears the clackers he postures up for a last few shots he's going to ride it out for the decision yeah, an entertaining fight, Lloyd. Two good young fighters. We're going to go to the judges again at Fight UK. Thank you. 